before we head off on our ride across Tochigi today, we're having a big, colorful breakfast, traditional Japanese style with fish, rice, miso soup, tofu, and natto, and some coffee too. On mornings like this, it's so hard to leave the warmth of the indoors and get on the bike. But our route today has a pretty epic climb up the Irohazaka right at the end, so we really gotta get going. After saying goodbye to the wonderful hotel staff, we point our handlebars towards Nikko National Park. Almost immediately, we were completely soaked. And after accepting that everything was wet and might stay that way the rest of the day, the fear of getting wet disappeared and we started to settle into a comfortable pace. cold? No, it's not cold. It's wet. Very wet. Sponges for shoes. Then the rain let up just in time for a snack break. Blueberry stop. Chestnut bread. When we started up again, the consistent warm summer winds dried our clothes in almost no time. After three small hill climbs, we headed towards the Kinugawa River Valley. I really love it when they build river paths to be high and elevated over the river. You get great views of the water, the hypnotic rice fields, and also the distant mountains. Get it back. <laughs> Stuck in my wheel. <laughs> Whew. How many Ks? 20, 1. Uh, 60 eight. to go. Yep. So, uh, eight. well, a little more than that. <laughs> it's like just under 90k, remember? 88, oh, I think. Yeah. It's like 68 to go. Okay. 67. Once we were off the bike path, we entered a few forest roads that were so serene and quiet. No cars, no distractions, just beautiful riding. Out of the woods again, we trace the river towards the big mountains of Nikko in the distance. It's a very slow and steady climb up to Nikko National Park with a percent grade staying well below 5%.
Where are we now? Nico. There's a thousand meters of gain from our hotel. Beautiful. Long time no see, Nico. Robin time. <laughs> Finally, we made it to our lunch stop, a ramen restaurant that we've been to several times in the past. Once we finished our steaming bowls of noodles, the rain was starting up again. This time, without hesitation, we hopped on our bikes and started pedaling full force with our full bellies towards the Irohazaka. Starting the climb. So the Irohazaka is this historical road that connects Nikko to Chizenjuko and Okuniko. I, Ro, and Ha are the first three syllables or letters in the old Japanese alphabet, and Zaka means slope. The road was named after the alphabet because it has these 48 switchbacks, one curve or switchback for every letter. This is a really, really tough climb, and uh, on a day like today, when it's just pouring, um, it's a whole lot harder. 2K to go! Finally, we made it to the top of the pass, and usually you can see Chizenjiko as you start to get to the red gates, but today the fog was so dense that it was complete whiteout. So our hotel for the night is right next to the lake and after check-in and shower, we went over to this restaurant that has fresh caught fish from the lake as well as local vegetables and meat. This is Hawaiian music, isn't it? I stopped by this place every single trip to Nikko, so it was great to return again. After dinner, the clouds finally lifted a little bit and we could catch this view of the lake, and even a little corner of Mount Nantai. I was so tired at this point, I decided to just head back to the hotel afterwards and go directly to bed. Good morning, Chuzenjiko! Wow, we are so lucky to wake up to this perfect morning. Beautiful skies, perfect temperature. There's actually this local bakery I've always wanted to check out, so we're going to roll over there first and grab some pastries.
Afterwards, we found this super nice bench along the lake to enjoy our French toast, croissants, and muffins. Then we just sat around in a meditative state for a while, watching the fishermen and soaking in the sun. There is a walking path actually that goes around the entire lake and we decided to hop onto a short portion of the dirt path before heading up the climb to the Senjo Gahara. We made a left turn onto the Hidden Eco Line, this gorgeous and beautifully paved road that's typically closed off to cars. It's so amazing to share this road with hikers and other cyclists without being on high alert for cars. Totally peaceful, totally serene. So the eco line ends at a sandy beach along Lake Chuzenji. We retraced our route and decided to get off the bikes for a hike through the Senjo Gahara. Um, Odashiro Gahara hike. Or maybe even get this little out and back too so we can see some of the Senjo Gahara more as well. I've been in this region a few times but never in the middle of summer and it already feels like a totally different place. Everything is so lush and so green. After more than an hour of hiking in our cycling shoes, we finally reached the Yudaki Falls. The water was raging even more than usual because of the huge amount of rain we had last night. There's also this break area with food and we got some dango, some mochi, and yeah, just enjoyed nature. Yeah. Sunday morning rain is falling. Still some conversations with skin. Clouds are shrouding us in moments unforgettable. You twist to fit the mood that I am in. Darkness 
I've been slow on Sunday morning And I never wanna leave Looks good. Yeah, Nico Yubasoba, I'll probably get one of those. We swing like bridges in the storm. Chase the red light together the way it is. Maybe all I need. Darkness seeking all I see. Come and rest your bones with me. Driving slow on Sunday morning. I never wanna leave